This, ladies and gentlemen, should ultimately lead to increased incentive for product delivery that corresponds to the needs of investors. In other words, building for the long-term success of those investors and therefore of our industry. Moving towards a level playing field is the first point that we believe action is required at a pan-European level. The second set of actions that we are advocating as an industry is for improved quality and transparency of activities at the point of sales across the spectrum of packaged retail investment product, not just for uses. Harmonizing distribution standards across product categories might not be sufficient to overcome all the challenges of distribution as omission or room for interpretation in current directives can lead to practice at the point of sale that are not in the spirit of investor protection. The regulator, we believe, should therefore seek to improve the quality and the transparency of activities at the point of sale by adding to existing regulation. Now, I am not a regulator prone, a more regulation prone, and I'll come to that point also in a couple of minutes, but in this very specific area, we believe that more needs to be done. And specifically, what it means is that we should do the following three things. We should address the following three steps. One, we need to disclose the nature of distributor service. I'll come to this in a minute. Two, we need to ensure full disclosure of all cost items and the principles of remuneration arrangements. And three, we believe that we should introduce a standardized advisor certificate, and that is a bit of a strong recommendation. But again, I will be saying a couple of words as to what we believe is behind. But before I go into those three ideas, disclosing the nature of distributor service, full disclosure of cost, and a standardized advisor certificate, let me say and let me insist that the position we are taking is that this can only work if those sets of recommendations we are making are applied across all financial products. So it is only in the context of a level playing field that those recommendations make sense. If, and there is a risk, if the European Commission and the European Parliament do not move towards that level playing field, then we do not believe that we should be singled out as an industry at a time when the usage vehicle and the mechanism of distribution of usage vehicle, even though not yet perfect, have demonstrated notably during the financial crisis that we've probably done far better than any other financial products. Let me talk for a minute, therefore, on each one of those three aspects. Disclosure of the nature of distributor service being the first one. Today, requirement on disclosure and suitability of advice under MIFID 1 aim to give investors the necessary transparency regarding the nature of the service the distributor is offering. Knowing that um, as part of their services, distributors across Europe do not always provide investment advice, and that is an important remark when I will be later on talking a little bit about MIFID 2. However, there is a reason to believe that this is not enough, what was planned in MIFID 1, to ensure that these aims are always being met. And a crucial requirement for effective implementation is that the same information is provided proactively in an understandable format and early in the sales and or advisory process. In this respect, and this is the fundamental point, in this respect, the customer needs to know the nature of the advice he or she is receiving when there is an advice, and in particular, we believe that the following information should be disclosed. What is the distributor duties to the client? And number two, what are the basic criteria and process that the distributor use for selecting the products? In other words, who is the distributor working for? Is the distributor working for his employer? in the interest of his employer, or is the distributor working for the interest of the client? A very thin, but, not, but a very complex line that needs, to be, that needs to be discussed. So restoring the balance between investor and distributors to help investor 
better compare the offering of different distribution channels with the understanding that clients are not necessarily best served by increased the lowest possible cost. So this is not about having the cheapest fund, but this is about making sure that we are finding the right product combination that meets the investment goals of the client. That is what is driving this notion of disclosure of um, distributor service. Okay, my slides are okay. I don't know. I have some different slides on screen, so it's rather challenging to follow. Um, <clears throat> so if you could, ah, here we are. Thank you. Um, first point, disclosure of the nature of distributor service. My second point, the need, to full, the need for full disclosure of all cost item and remuneration arrangements. Again, we are taking a cross-section approach and we are saying that for all packaged retail investment product, the advisor should additionally be obliged to discuss, to disclose, sorry, proactively all cost items and the principles of the remuneration arrangements that exist. Now, we in the field of UCITS in the asset management industry are probably the most advanced of all these other financial products and clearly with UCITS 4 and with the KIID there will be a level of disclosure not met by any of those other financial products. So we feel we are leading the way and if anything before we move anywhere further in terms of disclosure the others should meet the criteria that we are that we are uh, that we have already in place for our industry. The whole purpose of this disclosure is to ensure that the investor can easily understand what he is buying, comprising all items and arrangements, whether they be direct or indirect, one-off or recurring payments, at the time of purchase, in the holding period, or at the exit of the investment. In other words, a full picture of what is the distributor going to get from whom. The investor should understand at the point of sale and before he is bound by any contracts exactly what he or she is paying in order to make better informed investment. And that's about the second point on full disclosure of all cost items and remuneration as part of the improved quality and transparency activities at the point of sales. I said there were three, and the third one is introducing a standardized advisor certificate across Europe. Although MIFID 1 has included advice in the range of investment services, some improvement should be considered to meet investor expectations better. In particular, 